5C-1 modifications. Uh, first thing I did was I removed the puny little antenna that was in the transmitter. If you can see here, it's, it's, uh, it's under 30 millimeters. Uh, just over an inch on the imperial scale. Put some coax cable. You want the core. It's only cut you need. Now if the screws removed. Originally better angle in here. This is the so-called antenna. There's nothing in it. As you, you know, this little thing, it barely even got anywhere close to being <coughs> inside there. Careful. This the new one. What I did is I measured the copper core. That is 62.5 millimeters. It sticks out just on about 60. About 60 millimeters. <clears throat> you can see it actually does sit inside there. And it's a half wave antenna, 125 mil is full wave, but that would stick out further, and I didn't want to. Anything protruding, you know, poke your eye out or whatever. So that's the first thing I did. <coughs> Got out there and screwed back together, not falling apart. <coughs> you can see that's quite a considerable difference compared to that, which was tucked away in in there. Barely even made it to that. The opening the fake antenna. Now it's a real antenna. Yeah. It's nice over the top. Ease back in. That should theoretically double the range of the stock antenna. <clears throat> Top off. This was quite difficult. Uh, because this white glue needs to focus. This white glue was all over the original antenna and it was also bent over under the board. It was quite hard to get the original out. As you can see, I've done the same thing. 62.5 millimeters of copper and ran it down the arm of the quad. It's two screws in each arm. It's two under the battery door. And then there's four around under where the landing gear plug in <clears throat> I painted the props, front props with uh, Tamiya polycarbonate paint and it's come out quite good they almost look like they're factory you can still read the warning label through there 
The last thing I did, because I've got bigger batteries, these ones, so a little bit fatter, 600 milliamp, a little bit fatter than the stock one, it's kind of hard to open the door because there was a lip that ran. You can still see a little bit of it there. It ran about a mil and a half, two millimetres all the way along there and that would lock in to this piece when you shut it but having it there made it nearly impossible to open the door with the fat battery in there as you can see now it's still a bit tight but now you get the picture This here was a bit, I lost that part so I made one out of Lexan.